So after you get the replacement chip soldered into the circuit board, put the circuit board back into the synthesizer. Refer to your digital camera pictures you took earlier if you need to. You probably won't have to. It's really quite simple putting this circuit board back in. And in my case, there is the chip I replaced. Chip number one. A little bit crooked, but that really doesn't affect anything. And I forgot to mention, on the back side of this, there's some uh, prongs that are just extensions of the pins that go into the board. And you'll probably have to trim them off, like I did right there, to, to go around these things. And whoever did these chips before me had to do it too. And so then when you get it in there, turn it on. Make sure all the voices sound like each other. If one stands out, take a listen to it. Uh, listen to like the depth of it, the length of the note, and the girth of it, I guess you could call it. And if it's not right, you're going to have to get to these trimmer pots and put a screwdriver in them and slightly tweak them. I'm not sure exactly how. You're going to have to... I've read about it. You're going to have to get the service manual. But uh, this chip sounds... And in, most likely in your case, it's going to sound perfect like it does here. So on the whole, it's really not that big of a deal. It's an awesome synthesizer. I really like the sound this thing makes. It's just kind of a bummer that these chips were not made correctly from the factory and they and they die like this. But uh, anyways, it sounds like it should.